November 2019. I am your host, Janita Francis, and we in the western suburbs of Sydney are expecting yet another storm. It seems to be a Friday night thing for us this time of the year. So I thought I'd plan ahead and I would record the video, upload it. You guys will all be able to watch it because it's scheduled to post. And of course, I can jump on and chat. And if I get booted off or I lose internet or the no bloody net NBN, um, kicks up a stinky on me. It doesn't matter because you guys will still be getting astroscopes. So um, let's get started and we'll do that for tonight and see how we go, of course. So if you're interested in getting your own nasal chart or a relocated chart, so if you're more than 150 kilometers away from where you're actually born, where you popped out, um, send, me a, uh, send me a holler, have a look through my website. The details are down the bottom of the screen. Um, and I'll be able to do your natal chart and an interpretation for you. Um, so all the details are on the website. Check it out there or send me a, a, a message through Facebook. You can also catch me on Twitter and Instagram as well these days, which is not something I thought I would ever do. Um, and I actually got the hang of Twitter really quickly and easily. It's so much easier than some of the stuff I need to try to learn when I do Facebook. So it's, um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Radio, let's have a little look. Now, I've just got the chart at the moment, which I'm just going to have a little look at. Lots of things going in the house of transformation. Lots of things going on. It's all about working out ourselves at the moment. And also, uh, still being wounded a little bit in the friendship circle. We're still learning a lot from the friendships. Still learning. Um, still learning lots of different things. The house of career up there it's got mars in it there's venus and mercury everybody's over that side it's all about um we you know, the, the community side of things how we're interacting with others make sure that you balance that out with some time out for ourselves as well i'm speaking to myself when i talk about this uh, so we're in sagittarius at the moment of course the ever charming sag and taurus is rising let me just have a look and see if I can find what else is going on here. The moon is in cap. Venus is in... What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. We've got... Where did all of that happen? Right there. Okay. I'm looking at the wrong chart. Let me start this again. We've got Pluto, Saturn, Venus, and Moon all in Capricorn at the moment, okay? So we will be trying to get through these challenges that are ahead of us um, at a fast rate of knots. We'll also be <clears throat> looking for illusions and daydreaming about how we want our lives to look and what we might want to bring in. Mars, of course, is still bouncing in Scorpio, and so is Mercury for a little bit longer. So... Um, but that's all going to change. And when that changes, we're going to have some really beautiful moments in our lives. Um, we've got uh, Jupiter who's going to come out of Saturn. I'm struggling tonight. I had the, a challenging day today. I had a really challenging day. As a medium, we uh, or any sort of intuitive person, you see a lot. Like you, you just see a lot. And my whole entire life has been about seeing things that, um, are sometimes unseen and that people don't see around you, okay, because got really good spidey sense. And uh, I'm just dealing with the situation at the moment. It's really, it's, it's um, I can read it like a book. And it's frustrating for me because I'm trying to take other people through that chapter. And uh, they're just, it's just very frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. So I'm struggling with my words because I didn't leave that behind when I started on this. Whatever I learned, leave it behind. But anyway, um, let's go back into Jupiter, which is changing from Sagittarius through to Capricorn. So the next 12 months, okay, so what we've already lived through, the next 12 months will all be about reaping the benefits of all that hard work that we've done. And this is from an astrological point of view too. So if you watched the Warrior Chronicles last night and you've seen Moonstruck TV and all the sorts of things that are going on at the moment, a lot of um, people in the industry are actually talking about the, you know, the things that we've gone through this year and what we're letting go of. And it's certainly a very common theme at the moment as well. So as we come out and Jupiter starts um, Jupiter starts moving from Sagittarius into Capricorn. It'll be um, 
it, things will co- become much clearer, okay? We'll sort of get up the top of there, think about a goat getting on the top of the mountain, a Capricorn getting on top of the mountain and having a look around and going, right, it wasn't for nothing. I made it, everything will be all right. Uh, Venus moved into Capricorn the end of November, so we're about to see that happen at the moment. Um, it was just happened. Um, and then we're going into, what else do we got going on here? Full moon in Sag, Gemini access <clears throat> around that December 12th. 13th period that will be a very interesting time it's about you being super honest with yourself how you um how you articulate things and making sure that your point is very very clear that is not the time to try to fool people okay if you're that way inclined and you need to try to pull the wool over someone's eyes it's not going to work during this access during this full moon okay um you will get caught out if your intentions are not honorable so hopefully i don't <laughs> i'm not speaking to you in particular about it is in the general but there's um a lot of dishonesty going on at the moment a lot of dishonesty um in 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 lots of different areas of life so um yeah it could be the catalyst that makes all the dishonest people sort of shine a light on them and, and lets them know that the universe is not going to let them get away with that. So it'd be really cool. It'd be a, a cool time. Um, what else is going on? There's a few things going on. It's much more exciting when you're looking at individual charts and how those charts actually stack up against the placements and what and those sorts of things. But all in all, there's a few trines going through there. Uranus is going to try and moon. Neptune is trining Mercury. That's a nice placement. That can work in a lot of people's favours. Now, what I'm doing is taking it from Ingleburn, though, okay, so where I live, and I'm doing it through um, so there's a placement for me, okay, where I actually live. I can't do everyone's placement, as I've explained before. Lots of cardinal, lots of earth going on, not too much fire. The earth bit of stubborn streaks perhaps um, there. But there's some beautiful trines. Neptune is, is trining. Um, and then we've also got Uranus is trying Moon. It's also trining Venus. It's also trining Jupiter as well. So there's nice transformational things. So they're being well supported after this time of, um, you know, being a little bit, um, we're actually actually coming we're actually going to come out the other side quite well. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Hang in there. Um, if you like your own natal chart done, certainly give me a holler. I'm happy to do that for you. Um, and also always available for private reading. I am booked out for this Sunday, though. I'll let you know. Um, I've got a lot of um, overseas people that are getting their reading done on Saturday night, um, which means that my Sunday is bonkers. So um, if you'd like a reading with me, please do get in touch and we can book that in and sort you out without any issues whatsoever. So without further ado, that will be the Astro Scopes for tonight. Um, I look forward to seeing you next Thursday night for the Warrior Chronicles um, and also I'll be on my own private page doing private readings at some point over the next week as well. So thanks very much for your time. Enjoy your evening. Bye for now.